I am in such financial ruin that it causes significant mental health distress. I don't sleep. I can't even afford to feed myself, so I can't even properly take care of myself, which hurts because I don't even have the proper resources to help people. Y'all like literally cut off my resources and fucking buried me, bro. Like, so honestly, y'all apologies don't mean shit to me because my heart is broken. I'm mentally devastated. I dead ass cannot like function the way that I used to function. So the only way that your apology will mean something of substance to me is if you take accountability for destroying my life, despite me not saying anything bad to y'all at all, taking corrective action by getting yourself help and addressing why you're so angry, it's everyone else's and throwing fault. something in my cash app, because like I said, I can't even feed myself anymore. That's an apology. So on top of all of the unhinged, she actually began to beg for money, but she did it in the most abhorrent way possible. Taking no accountability, blaming everyone except for herself, posting her cash app at the end of the video for you simps to be able to donate to. Incredible. It is a sickness. Um, it wasn't hard to come back to your I was in a lot of pain for a few days, mm -hmm. so having sex was, you know. It was reupholstered. You were, you were a little traumatized by me being like, ouch, hold on. At first, yeah. <laughs> but that did go away pretty quickly. It took like three or four days, yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel like it snapped back? Well, you never had the natural birth that I, you were planning I, on. I don't believe that vagina stretches from having sex once for 40 minutes with a bigger Stop the cap. The book. <laughs> Never cut off your rotation. Never allow yourself to get rusty in the game. There's nothing more attractive to a woman than a man that lost the abilities that got her in the first place. Reach out to some of the old hoes you cut off when you first got in a relationship with. Her. And remember, King, never allow your girlfriend keep you from finding your wife from the book of toxicity. On a regular schmegler degler day, I'd say maybe a six. Okay. I would give you a six. And a six is cute. A five is average. Mm -hmm. So if you're a cute woman, that's one step above average. The average black man in this country earns $41,500 for a lifetime. No more, no less. No Herculean methods, no lottery, no businesses. That's what he's going to make. That's your husband. Motive five degrees. Thank you. See? See, that is why you could be on fries at McDonald's, but if you look like Kelly Rowland, you can marry a millionaire. But you could graduate from Harvard, but if you look like Precious, you ain't got nothing coming. My phone. No. Dad, give me my phone. No. If you don't give me my phone, we are done. I'm going Dad, through it. I want to see it. Give me my phone. I want to see it. Give me my phone. Babe, don't break no. the glass. Give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. Where do you got hiding? Where do you hiding? Babe, give my phone. No, don't do that. No. Give me my phone. Babe, give me my phone. Give me my phone. No. Give I want to see this. No. She belongs to the street. What's the craziest thing you've seen in a hookup's bedroom? I've seen a train happen before. You just walked in on it? I've seen it in like the dorm. People were like outside the dorm room and someone got the door open. I was like, okay. I beg your pardon? Hey, you know, what? Mind my business. <laughs> He was like that, none of my business. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink. She don't need a father for her children, but she needs a daddy for her. And she don't mean father daddy, she means eggplant slaying daddy. But instead of focusing on her, I wanna focus on all the simps in her comment section that took the bait. Saying things like that, your kids finna get a stepdad, and you finna get a husband. Simp! <laughs> Beta! That's a beautifully put queen. Timeless and God is working, dear. Sip. Ah! Beta. You pick and you choose. There are some eligible ninjas sending you comments at you. You just don't respond. I'm one of them. 
Stop looking beautiful in your posts and respond to the eligible ninjas. Beta. And these are just the three that are in a row. To be honest with you, I put too much onus on modern women's behavior today on modern women. If you begin to piecemeal all of the simps and the suckers that enable this behavior, you begin to understand the misalignment. I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. I have spent most of my days figuring out how I can become physically mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough to be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math and it, it does not work out. I am not young enough or fertile enough or financially stable enough to even do another round of IVF. And at 36, like, I'm sorry, like, you're gonna say, like, you have time, like, I don't. Because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work when I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources or the community. And it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex-husband that were viable and they're just gone now and my future my future with those children and my life as a mother is just it's gone and it's not just that it's gone it's the fact that it was decided for me by so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me. <laughs> because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. <laughs> and I'm heartbroken. Are you confident enough to take my phone and go shoot your chef? No, because I have a boyfriend. I am a loyal woman! I am not licensed! Swear to God, I have a boyfriend. Look at him. Show uh, the camera, show the camera. Loyal woman, loyal woman. I am a loyal woman! You smart. You loyal. Oh. Number two, how often do you get yours done? Oh, twice a week, but... <laughs> she said twice in my life? What are you doing? What? Not JR. Not JR on his knees no. going in. The holy light! Let me see. Let me see, girl. Let me see. For three, how, how about you? How number often two, do you get yours? I don't think she's hold on, hold on. on. He skipped over hold number on. two. Lotion them joints up. What? Number <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. She's doing a lot better. Do you no, see the that's difference? Because of the color, her color is more even, but that don't make it a better a better foot. Nah, yo, these are doing a lot better. She her her feet are pretty. She has very pretty feet. Th there's there's a little bit of turbulence over here okay. in <laughs> digit number four. Oh my gosh, y'all are so picky, and they say women are picky and y'all are dissecting women's toes like isn't that a high standard isn't um, that being not simple men are simple listen men don't have the high standards and he's down on the ground and you dissecting toes let me see the fourth one is a little out of pocket and the other one looks like fred Fredstone's uncle's knuckles i don't know I'm just <laughs> Women in other countries like South America, because they're taught at a young age to learn how to cook, that is something that is a part of like the day-to-day -day routine. So the biggest comparison to over here is that women lack that and not a lot of women know how to cook here. A lot of women over here are overweight and they don't take care of themselves, they don't work out, they don't really care about their body and, and any of that. So one of the biggest things is like women over there don't eat out they don't eat processed food because they know how to cook they cook so they're eating home cooked meals which means they look better they take care of their bodies better they care about how they look because i mean if you're in shape then you want to maintain that if you're already eating out all the time eating whatever it is popeyes any anything over here then you're just going to keep fueling the fire as you keep going you're not going to care about going to the gym dear future husband i require a man of god I require good morning text. 
I require flowers. I require date night. I require time. I require respect. I require loyalty. I require love. I require affection. I require reassurance. I require all these things, yes. For those that's been following me, I have been on a spiritual journey and I have been, you know, getting closer to God and I've committed my life fully to him. So let me get this straight. <laughs> Hey, listen, I love to hear that people are changing their lives for the better, but I find it so incredible that these women that insist on banging the wall at 304 miles per hour have the same exact story. It's like a moment of epiphany. Now you have all of these requirements from men. When you've given your youth, your beauty, and all of them viscous innards to the streets. This is legitimately like trying to sell a totaled car higher than the price than when the car was new. But hey, if talking about what you now require of men online in lieu of talking about the potential value that you can provide works for you, then kudos to you. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Boss on your phone, tell the man you can't jet. The big guy, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Boss on your phone, tell the man you can't jet. The big guy, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight guy. I'm reminded of my state day back. Every time they didn't climb, we go way back. All they wanna be is just.